So this will be the first video in what I hope will be an ongoing series of videos about little things that I do during the day that I don't think about that much anymore, but they improve my life quite a bit. So today we're going to talk about, you know, something we all do when creating a low poly mesh or trying to optimize something or creating LOD meshes or whatever. We collapse geometry, points and edges and that kind of stuff. Moto has a good system built in for this. It can snap things together in a couple different ways, but you know, having to click the UI really kind of sucks. So we're going to talk about the way that I've set up my hotkey in a way that helps me to be more efficient. Now I went back and forth on the title of this series quite a bit. It was going to be like Moto quickies, but then I'm like, well, this won't always be Moto stuff. Sometimes it'll be general modeling things. And sometimes it'll be about just the job we all do every day. Um, so I wasn't quite sure what to do. So I went with modeling quickie number one, and we're just going to roll ahead with that and see how it goes. So to demonstrate this, let's go ahead and hop into this mesh right here. We'll just pretend this is you know, part of a proper building or something. So the business end is all down this edge and this edge over here is what connects up to, you know, to existing geometry. Now this doesn't need to be quite this detailed. It was just cut this way because this is how you know, the artist made the low poly when they first did it. But now you're going through and you're like, well, this looks like we could optimize this quite a bit you know, by collapsing some things. So a real quick rundown of the functionality Moto has for this is if I select some edges, well, what's like one edge for now, and I go to the edge tab and I choose collapse, that just smashes those, you know, the two endpoints together and, and gets rid of the edge. If I have a bunch of edge, edges selected, they all collapse together to one point. That's one way. The other way is to work directly with vertices. So if I go into vertex mode, I select these two verts and I'm on the vertex tab, there is a join function right here. If I pick join and hit OK, it's going to join, I believe, to the last one, the last one selected. So those three were selected and they all join down to the third one. The other way you can go is join averaged which means if I grab these, it doesn't matter what order I grab them in and I join averaged, you know, they all snap to the average uh, midpoint of all the selected verts. Now, since we know those are the functions and nobody wants to be clicking over here, we're going to set up a hotkey and I'll show you what that looks like in my file in a second. But as a refresher course, if you want to see what commands are being executed in Moto, you go to the Layout tab, uh, I believe it's Palettes, and Command History. It, that toggled off the one I had, so we can do it again. Palettes, Command History. Now, if you're on uh, this History tab, this will show you the specific commands being executed. So just for demonstration, if I select a couple of edges, collapse them, you can see the edge.collapse is what gets executed. So we're going to jump over to my hotkey file now and have a look at what I've done. So because when I'm optimizing files, I don't want to be fooling around with clicking the UI. I want to use a hotkey. But since there's three functions here, that makes it a little more difficult. And I don't want to be messing with the pop-up pie menu. So I've, I've dedicated the V key to, you know, to be my vertex collapse key. So just a straight V will do an edge collapse. Alt V will do a, Alt V does an average join and shift V does the join where it joins to the last selected. Those keys are right at my, I'm right handed. So my left hand's on the keyboard. That V key and the Alt and the shift key are right close to that hand. So I can, I can fly through this sort of operation. So going back to Moto, we'll see what that looks like. So we'll go in here and I'll say, well, I want to get rid of those. Collapse those down. These two can get averaged together. Yeah, these three can definitely get averaged. Um, that's probably fine there as well. Collapse these. Let's grab these and we'll average those out. Uh, this one I want to weld down to here, so we'll shift V that one. And shift V there, and this one will average 
And so you can see how quickly you can burn through this kind of thing with a hotkey setup. You know, if I was going over here to click stuff, it would, just, it would be slow and tedious. So anyway, there's a quick look at collapsing geometry and how to set up a hotkey to make your life a whole lot easier. Oh, and for the record, it's not lost on me that I am doing something a little, well, it might look a little weird if you're not familiar with me and how I am, but I have a CFG file that has all of my hotkeys in it. I also have one that has all of my forms in it and that kind of stuff. I've covered this in past videos, but I prefer to work with my hotkeys in a text file like this. Uh, so I have the kind of you know control over it that I want. Plus, I can carry this file from Moto version to Moto version without you know, worrying about exporting it and re-importing it and that kind of thing. But I recognize that most people won't won't do this sort of thing. So uh, if you're not one of those people who wants to do that, uh, just use the input editor system, uh, input editor. Uh, inside of here, it's the same process. Use the command history window to get the command uh, onto your clipboard. Find the key combination you want in the list and paste it in there. Same thing. So happy modeling and I'll see you in the next video.